Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and today I'm just going to quickly show you guys uh, what I'm packing for my surgery. So, what's in my top surgery bag, basically, is this video. Wasn't that a thing? Wasn't that a trend, like, back in the day? Like, what's in my bag? I'm not making that up, right? That was a thing? Anyways, I'm going off topic here. I said it was going to be quick. Um, actually, in fact, when you guys are watching this, I am getting my top surgery right now. If you guys are watching this, September 8th, 12.30, I'm getting chopped up. So, yeah, um, if you guys want to, just, you know, send me positive vibes and stuff like that. Yeah, this is what I'm packing for Boston. I live in New York, so it's like a three-hour drive uh, to my surgeon and the hospital that I'm going to be staying. Well, not staying, but getting the surgery at. And, um, yeah, literally going to just be in Boston for three days. Driving up, I, we drove up yesterday, basically, technically, when you guys are watching this, uh, having surgery today, and leaving Friday at noon from the hotel and everything. Anyways, this is just to showcase to you guys what I'm packing for surgery, what I think is essential, and things that my surgeon has told to pack as well. Okay, so obviously clothes. Uh, for sure, you want to wear like comfortable clothing and stuff like that. I'm packing shorts and sweatpants because I'm not exactly sure what I'm wearing. Uh, to surgery pants wise uh, but for both days obviously I packed loose button ups because that's what's necessary you're not obviously going to be able to put a t-shirt over your head and stuff like that no I mean I am not packing you you're not going to Boston uh, obviously shoes with no laces easy slip on the mastectomy pillow my mom actually got me this for my birthday but it was actually pretty hard for her to find it like a gender neutral coloring um, because they have them more feminine and stuff like that because obviously women typically get this type of shit, uh, mastectomy type surgeries and stuff. But although, like, if you're trying to find, like, a gender neutral coloring or stuff like that, type in heart surgery pillows because men get these types of pillows too for recovering from heart surgery and stuff. But also, like, men get mastectomy fucking surgeries too, like, if they have breast cancer because, you know, men can get that too. But, you know, whatever. So, like... Try that search prompt um, to try to find more gender neutral coloring if it, if it bothers you and stuff. Um, but yeah, any type of pillows, honestly. Like if you can't afford to get this, I don't know exactly how much this was and stuff, but like if you can't afford to get that, just get a bunch of pillows to help when you're sleeping and stuff. Obviously pack one for the car ride and stuff for like the seat belt. Hey guys, my here, medication back to my and stuff like that that my doctor described. Today, I'm just going to um, quickly show you guys what they suggest because a lot of people actually get constipated after surgery. Hey guys, Chandler here, um, back to yes, my channel, Journey. Um, and pain today, meds and stuff, but they also suggest buying Tylenol, extra strength to kind of go back and forth between this and the prescribed medication and stuff. Hey guys, this is Chandler here, back to my channel, This is journey, the type of soap that my surgeon wants me to wash with the day before surgery, like the night before and the morning of surgery. Video. as well. Wasn't that a thing? So, Wasn't that a trend like yeah. <laughs> back in the day? Like, <laughs> um, the nominer just to keep track of how to figure out the surgery that's very important. I'm going to have to take guys channel here back my channel. I'm going to have to take my just to make sure everything's good. I have a little notebook of questions that I'm going to ask my surgeon at the consultation the day before surgery. So technically yesterday. I have a video of questions that you should ask. Obviously, like, I asked a lot of questions before, but this is just to, like, confirm shit and also just we're having another consultation just to confirm exactly what my scar shape and type of surgery that I'm getting so everything's like, so everyone's on the same page. Uh, these three products is not necessary. necessary. Um, it's, you know, the waterproof uh, uh, medical tape, um, the gauze, and the neosporin. Um, this is typically stuff that you have to use for recovery and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not going to be removing any bandages unless, of course, I bleed through. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to have drains yet and stuff. That's something that when I wake up, I'll just see. Um, but I'm still packing this stuff just in case I do have to change my uh, gauze pads and stuff like that. Just in case there's bleeding or leakage of any sort. And my mind's just like... My anxiety basically is telling me that I have to pack these things. So... <laughs> And then, of course, we got some Gatorade and crackers because a lot of people experience nausea and stuff. So this is mainly for, like, the car ride home and, like, after surgery. Um, I love saltines and stuff like that when I'm sick. Um, obviously, my uh, surgeons prescribed me nausea pills because that is very common that people experience nausea. But this is just so I can, like, still, like, consume stuff and everything like that. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> 
And that's all going in this medical bag. Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Ultimate Journey, and bag. today I'm just, just going to show you guys in case I need uh, right what away, I'm packing I can just for my surgery. Uh, my mom, so, what's in my top uh, surgery bag, Sam, basically, my sister, this video. Like, hey, grab wasn't that a thing? Wasn't that a trend back in the and day? And then this is all the paperwork. I'm not obviously not going to show you anything, just so any information is not leaked about my address or where I'm going for the surgery and stuff like that. Um, not like anyone's gonna be weird enough to figure out <laughs> this day where I'm getting my surgery and show up at the hospital, but you fucking never know. My anxiety thinks that much. But in here is all the paperwork for all the documents that I signed consenting to the surgery, just in case there's any problems. My receipt for paying the 12500 is in here, just in case there's any problems. Literally, this is everything that, like, even my, um, my, um, 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 vaccination cards in here, everything, just... Basically, anything that my anxiety is like, hey, this is going to go wrong, is in here. Directions to the hospital, what floor in the hospital, everything, like, yeah. Directions on how to freaking wash myself with this thing is in this. Like, everything's in here. And then also the most important thing is this. This is the um, drainage record. Just in case I have um, drain. I mentioned this before, but just in case anyone's forgot, I am getting a double incision with free nipple grafts. So typically you're going to have drains with that type of surgery, but with recent discoveries and stuff like that and stitching processes of this type of surgery, a lot of surgeons don't use drains anymore unless they see it's deemed necessary. With my surgeon, Dr. Bartlett, 90% of his patients that get double incision don't get drains. But this is something that like, obviously I know like it's up to him and everything like that, but also my comfortability. Honestly, like, if he thinks that I need drains, I'm allowing him to put it, obviously, because, like, hello, like, it's just for health and everything like that, just make sure everything drains properly and stuff like that. Um, so that is the record uh, that I have to put of, like, how much liquid is drained out from the right and left side. Um, so there might be a chance that I wake up and I have drains, which is okay and everything like that. I really don't care. I just want everything to go smoothly, you know what I mean? So I have that. Also, I have a sheet of paper that... I'm gonna record every time when I take my medicine. So yeah, that's what I'm packing for my trip to Boston for my top surgery. Obviously it's nothing um, special, just try not to pack so much and stuff just because you're not obviously gonna need a lot of stuff. You're gonna need more stuff when you're recovering and stuff like that. Obviously I'll post a video of everything that I used for recovery, things that I think is necessary, things that my surgeon has told me to use and stuff like that as well. Um, so that'd be like coming up in the next few weeks and stuff like that probably. Yeah, like it's it's literally simple of like the things that you have to pack. Obviously, if you've noticed, I did not pack any deodorant, uh, cologne, um, any hair products because I don't want to accidentally use any of those products before my surgery because they don't want they want you freshly clean. No, no products just in case anything just happens where infections may occur. I am packing actually shampoo like mini bottles of shampoo and conditioner and obviously my toothbrush. Um, because they want, because they don't want you to change the type of shampoo and conditioner that you used, so don't use hotel shampoo and conditioner. Um, they basically don't want you to change anything that is from your regular routine, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and, um, yeah, send me positive vibes for my surgery. <laughs> Wish me luck, and everything. I, I trust my surgeon, and everything. Um, it's, it's gonna be great. I'm just really grateful that it's finally here. Um, my, like, it's crazy, like, me and my friends, and, like, my partner Sam, like, literally, we were discussing about this surgery, like, months ago. Like, it fell so far away, but then randomly, it's, it's fucking here. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for all the support that you guys have given me throughout the years of me being on YouTube and just throughout me medically transitioning and stuff. All your support really, really helps. And just, it encourages me even more to post and everything like that, share my knowledge of transitioning and stuff and just yeah i'm really grateful for it so thank you guys so much anyways look at the statistics if you find yourself watching multiple of my videos might as well subscribe and don't forget to click that bell down below so you get notifications whenever i upload and i'll see you guys next time bye